Hey YouTube and welcome to a new How to Paint Imperial Fist Space Marine tutorial. Here is your paint list and today I will talk about a, a little bit about the lore of the Imperial Fist. Uh, but all the colors will be yeah, coming up uh, in the video description. So uh, let's begin. The uh, Imperial Fists are one of the first founding chapters of the Space Marines and were or originally the uh, yeah, uh, the seventh legion of the Legion Astartes, uh, raised by the Emperor himself uh, from across Terra and during the Unification Wars. Uh, the Imperial Fists stand out from other Space Marine chapters since they possess no fixed homeworld, so they are like nomads, uh, although they are most frequently based on Terra. Um, yeah, the uh, Imperial Fists rely mostly on their old mobile space fortress that is called Phalanx and um, they serve at their forest monastery. Uh, they maintain recruitment chapels on various worlds so they are spread all around uh, the Imperium of Man and part of the Imperial Fist's duties during the Great Crusade were also to work as the Emperor's personal Praetorians, so like protecting the uh, Emperor and Terra. The Imperial Fists were usually used to strike a decisive blow against the enemies uh, that the Imperium was confronted with um, and the role of the Emperor's bodyguard since uh, he was mortally wounded during the Horus Heresy and, uh, and interred with the Golden Throne at the heart of the Imperial Palace on Terra has been entirely taken over by the Adeptus Custodes. So um, they build up the fortress and yeah, like change the whole uh, visual side of terror to prepare for war. They were loyal in the time of betrayal and it wasn't an easy measure for one cannot look at the face of an ally and know if it's a friend or an enemy. So even after Horus' treachery was made manifest upon the death plains of East 13 and the drop side massacres of East 15, the truce of who was traitor and who remained loyal uh, was far from clear. So there was no real cut between enemy and fiend. In this age of betrayal, uh, one legion stood as a pillar of loyalty among the Sea of Doubt, so the Imperial Fists and their uh, loyal Primarch Rogaldorn, ever true, never swerving uh, from the toll demanded on by a war of brothers, brothers, bore the weight of loyalty without breaking, but not without costs. So they, they, they made up some very heavy sacrifices without limited uh, changed those who survived so the price was paid yeah likely the imperial fists are one of the most uh, valiant of all chapters held as paragons of the principles set down in the codex astartes and exemplars of everything to which a space marine here the imperial fists stand at the steadfast defenders of the imperium um, and the emperor's unawakened unwavering shield. For 10,000 uh, standard years they have been the bulwark against which the armies of traitors and aliens have shattered, while Rogandorn was lost to the Imperium in the years following the Horus Heresy. But his legacy still remains and goes on. To the chapter history, um, first the chapter was painted during the Unification Wars in the like black metal and yellowish color scheme um, but in the pre-heresy imperial fist color, sh color scheme also there was this yellow kind of uh, swish but with um, black linings and uh, yeah markings which was changed to uh, the red markings. Rogel Dawn was their Primarch and uh, there were transcendent beings holding a portion of the sublime and unknown in their nature, so the, all the qualities uh, which seem strong in a warrior of the Legion exist even more strongly and more deeply um, in the uh, Primarchs. So it's kind of the Primarch is the loyal guy and the whole Legion is loyal to themselves and to the uh, Imperium of Men. 
in the second founding, so like uh, there were this uh, this brother brother against brother war and um, the tension rose, neither the side backed down and it seems like inevitable that a civil war would break out once again and so the uh, yeah, Adeptus Astartes um, build up something like this rule book and um, on the next founding three uh, new 1000 man strong chapters were built up like the Crimson Fists the Black Templars and the Soul Drinkers. Um, yeah, and Roald Dawn's willingness to swallow his pride and embrace the Codex Astartes did much to reassure the High Lords of Terror. And uh, when the Imperial first emerged from the second founding, their uh, adherence to the tenets of Gilliman's Tome was matched only by the Ultramarines himself. The Iron Cage, something that is, uh, yeah, kind of manifested in the history, is uh, the enmity between the Iron Warriors and the Imperial Fist began in the Great Crusade. Uh, Petrobo was ever jealous of the esteem in which Rogel Dawn was held, seeing conceit and arrogance where others saw nobility. When uh, Petriabi sided with the rebel Horus, uh, the seed of revelry grew into bitter loathing. And the Imperial Fist, like uh, the Iron Wars, were masters of siege and such as relied greatly on the use of artillery and heavy weapons in combat. Uh, it was like a run, so we are the better ones uh, in sieging or defending um, places and uh, yeah, specific kind of yeah, personal interests. Um, and this was also where this uh, great eclipse began. So the Imperial Fists were the ones who yeah, just defended the homeworld of terror and the Iron Warriors began to siege upon the home planet of the Imperium of Man. This was, yeah, for this time this was nearly about it and uh, just have some fun watching the uh, yeah, the tutorial coming to an end and have fun. We'll see you in the next. So uh, here are the last steps and the miniature is nearly finished. I just uh, added the base uh, and put on some matte varnish and yeah, here you are, your Imperial Fist veteran of the Assault Squad. I think it's a quite nice uh, outcome and um, I hope you enjoyed it and also some of the lore. So, um, I think uh, it would be nice if you would vote, comment, subscribe to my channel uh, and support me by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Um, goodbye, your war painter.